Hey guys, my name is Ashley Anderson. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I want to show you my 80 day obsession setup. Um, this is just how I plan and track my workouts and my meals. So I have two, um, I guess, tracking systems. The first one is just a simple binder. The second one is, of course, my happy planner. And so the first one I wanna show you is just gonna be the binder. This is a one inch binder. It's nothing fancy and I want to tell you really quickly how I made this um, cover sheet just so if you guys want to make it it was super simple it was really easy to do and I thought it turned out really cute I took acrylic paint and I just painted the um, strips that you see here and then on Microsoft I typed up believe in yourself once the paint dried on the sheet I just printed it out stuck it in there and it was that simple so if you guys want to um, kind of copy that or come up with your own little thing that's how I did that so when you open the binder, the very first thing that I see is just some encouragement. The first thing is out of the Bible, but I love it. It's um, Philippians 419. Is it 419? Did I type that up wrong? I don't think it's, I know it's Philippians 4, but I don't know that it's verse 19. Hmm. But anyways, it's I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The second one, and this one's more for me, and it's something... Um, that I struggle with and it means a lot to me it says obedience is an act of faith disobedience is the result of unbelief so I am you know struggling with being obedient to God and being faithful and also believing in myself so that one means a lot to me and the last one is it says you can do absolutely anything you set your mind to you got this that's just an encouragement to myself I just typed this up on the computer and printed it out the next section is the try not to flip the tripod over here the next section is the calendar so I printed off the calendar for phase one phase two phase three and peak week so one thing that I did and I highly recommend that you guys do this too is prior to starting 80 day obsession I went through and I dated every single day and this made it easier when I would sit down and I'll show you in a second my happy planner but when I was transferring like so in my happy planner I plan you know week by week what workouts I'm doing every single day and I would go off of this calendar and this meant help me make sure I knew what week I was on because it's so easy to just lose track of what day it is what week you're on um so that was really nice and I highly recommend that you guys do that it just takes you know 10-15 minutes it doesn't even might not even take that long but just sit down, um, go ahead and pre-date your calendar. That way that's done. Makes it so much easier. And then after that, I have a nutrition tab. And here I have the food list. And I can't print in color. My um, printer only prints black and white. So um, this is the food list. And it tells you which list is for which container. So green container, purple, red, yellow. This helps me whenever I am creating my meal plan for the week, kind of help me pick out foods that go together to create my actual meal plan. Here is the refeed list. So I think it starts month two. You start with a modified refeed day. And something too I want to point out that I didn't notice the first round that I did 80 day obsession. I can't believe I went three months without seeing this. But down here at the bottom of this, it says fixate dessert recipes for refeed day. Because I had got on fixate and was trying to find recipes. Like which one would be good for this? And I had a hard time with it. But um, I see now that they actually have a list of recipes here that you can use off of fixate. That's really, really good for the um, refeed day. So that's just a little tip. And then from there, this is my nutrition plan. So whenever you start 80 day obsession... You go through, you calculate your calories, and based on how many calories you need every single day, you choose which um, meal plan that you're supposed to be eating from. And so, this is the meal plan that I'm eating from. And again, I can't print in color. So, what I had to do is I have these, mm, let's see, Paper Mate. I don't know if you guys can read that. It's a Paper Mate Flare pen, medium tip. I highly recommend these for anything any writing that you have to do, not just for this. But I went through and I pulled this up on the computer and I was looking at it on the computer in color. 
I say that as if like I'm colorblind or something. It's so funny. But I was looking at it on the computer in color and I just went through and color coded all this stuff. That way, you know, I could see which containers I needed every single day. And this is just a nice little thing to have if you if you're like me and you can't print and color right now and you don't want to go out and buy a color printer just to print this stuff out. Or like our town, we don't have a printing system a printing company that I can go to and have this stuff printed. So, um, these were really, these come in, um, handy for that. So I just went through and color coded that. Now I didn't color coat everything because this is a, like a morning block and you'll know what I'm talking about if you're doing 80 day obsession. If you're not doing it, you might be a little bit confused, but, um, this is a morning block and I don't work out in the mornings anymore. I work out midday. So I didn't highlight or color coat that. I did color coat my rest day because it's a little bit different than a workout day. And I also color coded this one, midday workout block, because that's when I work out. And so that tells me what I need to be eating and when. And that's it for that. And then from there, it starts phase one, phase two, phase three, and peak week. These are just the tracking sheets, you guys. Literally, I just track my workouts and it's nice to do this because, um, you know, I highly recommend that if you're doing 80 day obsession, thinking about doing it, you go through and you print these off and you track your stuff because this will help you each and every single week. See what weights you used the week before, what bands you used, how many reps you did, and it'll help you build upon that so you can get better and you can you know, work harder and start to see really, really good results. So I highly encourage you to print this stuff off and use it. That's what it's there for. So utilize the resources that you have, that they give you. And then, okay, seriously, at the end of this, after the peak week there, I just have blank paper, just loose leaf paper. And what I do is I, this looks like a hot mess, I know. But I take and I draw these boxes on a blank sheet of paper and I create my meal plan each and every single week. And I will transfer this meal plan, this, you know, hot, hot mess looking meal plan here into my happy planner. And this is how I plan my meals. And I do it like this first because you see arrows, you see like here it says switch. Like I, I rework things and based on what our, um, plans are for the week kind of helps me figure out what we're doing for lunch and dinner and all that. So this is kind of like a rough draft. And so I do that here. Once I get that done, I take it over here into my gorgeous happy planner, which I love. And in the back here, this is the this is where I track everything. Let me pull this out. So this um, is the wellness expansion pack for the Happy Planner. I will link to everything that I use um, here on the Happy Planner down below in the description box. But this is the Happy Planner expansion pack. I used to use the fitness pack. It worked fantastic. It did what it's supposed to do. I just wanted to change it up so I went to this. And I just use different stickers, so breakfast, lunch, dinner, this little, um, I call it a teacup, but because it makes me think of something I would put iced tea in. But that's how I track my water for this week. This is how I'm going to track my coffee because, let's be honest, I drink entirely too much coffee. Probably most of us do. So then I found these little workout stickers, and I have like day 8, day 9, day 10, so on and so forth. And this, guys, is just how I track my meals. Um, that's actually somewhere else. <laughs> so that's what I do there. That's actually when I started using this. So um, that's how I keep track of everything. And one thing I do want to say too, um, water is a big, a big thing for me. Something that I, you know, I have a hard time getting in enough water every single day. And instead of being like, instead of every time I drink a bottle of water, running back to my planner and, you know, writing it in, I have the, um, I have a Fitbit and it, um, I use the Fitbit app to track my water all day. 
and then at night or the next day or sometimes not until Sunday at the end of the week, I will go back through and I will track every single day how much water I had. So that's a little, little, um, advice is get an app or something like that. My fitness pal is a really, really good app to use that, uh, you can use to help you track your water. So guys, that's my setup for, um, tracking 80 day obsession. And I do want to say, too, um, if you don't have all of this, by no means do you need all of this to track your stuff. I do highly recommend, you know, if you don't have a happy planner, you don't have um, a meal tracking system like this, do not think that you can't do 80-day obsession because you don't have this. Um, when I first started with Beachbody programs, I actually used a system, and I don't have it or I would show you, but I used something similar to this with just a piece of paper and that's how I tracked everything. And it worked fabulously. There was nothing wrong with it. You don't have to be all fancy with a happy planner or any kind of planner for that matter. You literally can use a piece of paper and get amazing results. You can use your cell phone. There's great apps out there that help you keep track of everything. You don't have to be fancy with it. You don't have to be you know, cute and glittery and stickers and all that. That's just something that I'm into. And I just want to show you guys my system and what works for me and how I'm doing it now. But I will say, I do highly, highly recommend that you print out all the tracking sheets, print out the nutrition plan, and just get some, you know, some paper to track your meals, your workouts, track um, how much water you're getting, and just let it go. Don't stress about it. Don't try to be... Um, you know, don't don't worry if you don't have everything that I'm showing you here. You literally don't even need a binder. You can take just like like this. This is um, a hot mess looking binder, but this is what I use <laughs> to practice um, calligraphy in. But you literally can track everything in one of these. Just a regular notebook. It doesn't have to be fancy. You can do everything in your cell phone. Actually, you don't even need paper. But I highly, highly recommend, though, that you figure out a system that works for you that allows you to track your workouts, your meals, your water intake. And if, you know, if you have a Fitbit or an Apple Watch or some type of thing, some type of device that um, tracks your steps, your sleep, how many calories you're burning and stuff. If you have access to all of that information, I highly encourage you to track it, too, just because it's there. Not necessarily that you're um, stressing about how if you went over on calories or or um, maybe you didn't burn enough calories for that day or anything like that. But it's just the more information that you have, the better. But if you don't have that stuff, don't stress. That doesn't mean that you can't do the program. That doesn't mean that you're not going to get amazing results from it. If you work hard, you dedicate yourself to it, and you stick to it for the full 80 days, you stick to your nutrition plan to the best of your ability, you do the workouts every single day, and you believe in yourself, you will get results. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helps you. I hope that you figure out a tracking system that works for you. And um, yeah, good luck. Stick to it. You're going to get amazing results. I believe in you. I know you can do this. Again, thank you for watching. See you later.